Hi there, beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today, we're going to tackle another one of my daughter's envelopes for her first binder. She's 16 years old, and we've got to set her up right. So thank you for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing good, that you had a good weekend. Before we get started with this video, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter, so I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video, and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt -a card is, do you have any sisters or brothers? I read that completely backwards. I'm not dyslexic, but I don't know why that's how I read it. <laughs> For me, I have five brothers. Yes, five. My parents divorced when I was really, really young, and then they had their own families. So between them both, I have five brothers. And out of all five, only three of them are married. So I do have three sister-in-laws, but no sisters. So I grew up with all boys, made me quite the tomboy growing up, but I found my girly side. Don't worry. <laughs> what about you guys? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Let me know in the comments below. So today we are going to tackle another envelope for my daughter's binder. She's 16 years old, like I said in the intro, and we are trying to set her up with her own budgeting journey by making her very first binder. She's chosen the theme that she wants, which is the Chainsaw Man anime, one of her favorites. So we're sticking with that. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you today's image. Today, we are going to be making this image. This is going to be for her travel envelope. At the very beginning of the series that I did for her, just brainstorming her binder, she came up with a list of things that she may need or want in the way of envelopes in her binder, and travel was one of them. So this is the image she gave to me for that. It looks super cute. We worked really hard together to figure out which way this looked better, and this is what she decided on. So if you're new, this is what I like to do. I just take some, this is vellum paper. You can use tracing paper if you have it, but tracing paper is a little bit thinner. Vellum is a little bit thicker, so it's more durable in my opinion. It doesn't even seep through when you use markers on it. So I'll take this vellum paper and I will tape the image onto the back of this. And then I'll trace over it with Sharpie markers. So as you can see, most of the image is grays and blacks. So that's why I'm using grays and blacks for this. And once I'm done tracing over that image, then I will remove the image and it will be transferred onto here. And then once I have it transferred, I will put it inside of this envelope right here. And then behind it, I like to put some metallic cardstock. This is silver metallic. I got it off of Amazon just so that it has a backing, a backdrop to it. It really makes the image pop that way. So both of these will go in here and then the money, when she stuffs it, will go behind it. So you won't actually see the money in the front, just in the back. Now, of course, you know, you could always do it this way and you could see the money right through it. But in my opinion, it takes away from the image. But of course that's, you know, personal preference. So with that said, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I am going to be tracing over this image and getting her next envelope done and ready. I'm super excited. So the next part of this will be time lapse for you. I'll add a little bit of music for some entertainment and at the end we'll come back together. I'll show you a closer look and we'll let my daughter take a look and put it in her binder. So enjoy the next part. And I'll see you at the end. Yeah. 
All right, and we are done. Let me go grab my daughter and let her put it in her binder. All right. Ooh. You like? Yeah. All right, cool. I'm glad you like it. You know what to do. Where are we going to put it? I'll put it in the back. Oh my gosh. I hear your headphones. What do you hear? Isn't it your headphones? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you like that? Yes, I do. Oh my goodness, this is starting to look so cool. You like it? Yeah. All right. Love you. Love you. All right. And we have her approval. So her one, two, three, four, fifth envelope done and done. So this will probably be the last envelope I do of March. After that, um, it's just all cash stuffings and WTF Wednesdays from here. So we'll, we'll pull this out again in April, I think. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments. And if you're still watching, you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday for our WTF Wednesday video. As always, until next time. Bye.